Hello guys, it's Ben here from Next Gen Base, and the latest PS5 firmware is out, which allows you to stick an M.2 SSD in your PlayStation 5 and increase the storage that you have available. So we're going to tell you how to do it. All right, first things first, you need to have a drive that's rated at 5,000 megabytes a second or higher. This is usually in any of the product descriptions, but Digital Foundry have done an excellent guide as to which drives they recommend. That link is in the description, so it'll give you a good idea of what's available. We're using the highly recommended SN850 from Western Digital in a one terabyte capacity. I picked this up from Scan for £149 with a free external heatsink included. Sony recommend using a heatsink as these drives can get a bit toasty with extended use. The heatsink supplied came with three lots of thermal pads with one being segmented, strangely. I used the single sided one on the bottom of the drive and the double sided one on the top before sandwiching it into the heatsink and screwing it all together. There are a number of drives available that have built-in heatsinks to avoid this step, but at the time of recording, the stock levels of those are predictably quite low. Once you've got that sorted, you need to open up the PS5. This is easy enough to do as I've previously done so to replace my panels with black ones. You put the console with the PlayStation logo face down and the disk drive facing away from you. Then you lift up on the bottom right hand corner while pushing it to the left. It takes a little bit of force due to the plastic that locks it in place, but it's not going to break. Once the panel's off, you can see the SSD bay underneath the PlayStation button themed screw. Once this covers off, you can see the spacer and the screw that will allow you to slot the drive in. Remove it from the end slot and drop the spacer in the slot that matches your SSD's size. Next up, take your SSD and push it into the slots on the left hand side with a slight angle. This is a little bit fiddly, but you'll know it's in place when you hear a satisfying click. Once it's in, tighten the screw at the end, replace the cover, which was a little bit of a tight squeeze with the heatsink, and snap the panel back onto the console. And that's it, you're done for the installation. When you plug everything back in, you'll be greeted with this screen. Format the drive and you should have an extra chunk of capacity on your PS5. It tells you the speed of the drive, which should be well above the 5000 megabytes per second mark. And thanks to the formatting process, this doesn't put any additional features on the drive, so you can use the entire capacity of it to store more games. If you want to enable the drive as a default, go into the settings, then head to storage, where you can choose this as the default location to store any new downloads instead of your PS5 stock storage. You'll be able to play games natively off the drive and copying games between the internal and M.2 storage is pretty quick. You can use an external drive to cold store the games and this will take a little bit longer to bring them back into the uh, SSD, but it's a feature that's available. So there we have it. Have you put a new drive in your console? Are you planning on doing so? Let us know in the comments below, like and subscribe to the channel for more content coming shortly and we'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye bye.